Hi friends, this is Gani. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to create different cuts in Tecla structures just like this. This is the rectangular cut, and you can see in the you can see this is the rectangular cut, and uh, this is the cut around the path like this. And the third one is the rectangle cut for a rectangular member. And fourth one is a circular cut with a circular pipe like this. You can see like this. Okay. Before I explain you how to create this type of cuts in Tecla structures, for more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech class structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay let's start uh, before going to explain you how to create this type of different cuts in tech class structures uh, i'm going to take a new file so go to menu click on new Click on create. Double click on this 3D view and close this window and maximize this window like this. Okay. Before we're going to create columns and the different types of cards, we're going to create views. So click on this grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Click on create and OK and OK. Okay, now we're going to create the column. So go to steel, click on steel tab and select this column and place it here. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now, now we're going to create uh, some kind of beams. So now I'm going to take the elevation on along grid B. So use the shortcut control I for view list and select this elevation on B and click on here and close it. Now we're going to create the beam. So select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point like this and right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to copy this beam so select it click on this beam right click on mouse copy and pick the first point here and pick the second point and pick the other point at here and pick the another point like this okay right click on mouse interrupt now click on space and go to 3d view click on this window and click on this 3d view like this Okay, first example, we're going to take two or the I section profiles and another one rectangular. So double click on this beam. And let's take click on here. Instead of I profile, we're going to take rectangular hello section. So click on here and let's take other profile and select this RHS and let's take these values. If you want to edit, you can edit here. Then click on apply. Okay. Then click on modify okay you can see this is a square profile like this okay now close it now we're going to take the circular profile for this beam so double click on this beam click on here and minimize it and uh, now we're going to take circular halo section maximize these circular profiles you can use the standard profiles also uh, for example i'm going to take the other profile click on here and let's take circular halo section if you want to edit you can edit this profile so let's take six inches thickness is a three by eight then click on apply ok click on modify like this and close it here okay this for example these are the uh, beams or pipes or any other members or uh, through this member column so we need to create the some cut profiles so Go to the application components by using the shortcut Control F, and in the search bar, type here, type here cut and scroll it down, and select here create whole around part number 92. Click on this application components, select this uh, component and close here and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a mem this beam okay right click on mouse interrupt you can see now we have the rectangular cut here you can observe in the elevation also well, let's take elevation along grid 3 so use the shortcut control i 
and select here elevation on grid 3 and click on here and close it currently we have the rectangular cut here so double click on this cut you can adjust the spacing for example if you want to maintain here the off inch uh, currently we have by default off inch similar like that we are going to maintain here also off inch so enter here off inch click on modify you can see now we have the edge distance here spacing should be off inch if you want to change you can change here for example let's take 3 by 4 inch and here also 3 by 4 inch then click on modify you can see now the spacing should be 3 by 4 inch clearance between two parts with the rectangular cut like this and close it here and go to 3d view you can see you will get like this this is a rectangular cut click on space right click on mouse view okay now we're going to cut around the part uh, instead of rectangular cut like this so use the same component go to application components by using the shortcut control f and select this component create hole around part 92 and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a beam and close here right click on mouse interrupt okay by default we have the rectangular cut so go to elevation view elevation on 3 and double click on this component symbol now uh, we require the around the part so go to the parameters and click on here and select this option for around the part and then click on modify you can see now we have the cut around the part with 3 by 4 inch clearance like this if you want to uh, reduce the size so for example let's take off inch here also off inch then click on modify you can see now the clearance should be off inch cut like this and close it here now go to 3d view now we are going to cut this uh, part uh, square cut use the same method go to application components and select this and select this main column and pick the second member as a beam and close it and go to elevation 3 we have square cut like this double click on this component and enter here half inch then click on modify you can see now we have half inch clearance around the rectangular hello section like this and close it here and go to 3d view okay now we're going to create the circular cut around this circular member so go to application components and use this create hole around the part 92 component and close here and pick the main column and pick the member as second member as a pipe right click on mouse interrupt by default we have the rectangular cut here so go to elevation uh, on 3 now we're going to create here circular cut so double click on this component symbol and uh, make it here off inch clearance and go to parameters and select this around the part option then click on modify you can see now we have the circular cut like this apply ok and go to 3d view ok you will get like this cut around the part ok click on space right click on mouse view ok that's it about how to create cuts uh, around the part with 92 number component this one okay just like this okay that's it about how to create uh, different types of cuts around the part in tecla structures like this okay if you have any doubts uh, please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash denny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new videos so please click on subscribe okay thank you